Denise Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice. And today I want to share with you one of the great things about mixing your own colours rather than using tube colours. As you know, I often create colour swatches and I sometimes make discoveries and they lead me to new colours. So in this video, I'm going to show you how this happens. Follow me as I discover how to mix a new colour for So me. sometimes when I'm making the colour swatches, I'll come up with a colour like in this case, I came up with this green, which I realized was almost turquoise. And I thought, could I mix a turquoise? So how did I make that one? I made it with a warm yellow and cerulean blue. What if I went for the coolest yellow I could find and stuck with cerulean blue? Could I then mix a turquoise? Because I know turquoise is a cool blue. I know that from the colour wheel. So I want something, I want cools with cools to try and make that colour. At first I was making kind of a minty green, as you can see. But as I added more and more and more blue, then I started to get towards the turquoise I was looking for. And of course, lots of white because turquoise is a relatively light colour. I realized here, yeah, not quite blue enough yet. It's still greeny, so I'm going in, adding some more blue. Just thinking, you know, is it too green? Is it too blue? Is it too much this? Is it too much that? And here I've made kind of a dark turquoise, but I was actually aiming for something a bit lighter. And often, as I've said before, adding white in will give you a clearer sense of what color you've got. Now you can see the clearly see the difference between the green color and the turquoise. And, and so I have got the turquoise I was looking for and I've discovered that you can mix it with cerulean blue, lemon yellow and white. There we go, turquoise. Now, when I make a discovery like this, then I'll start playing. This is where my circles book comes in. I'm calling it my circles book. It doesn't always have to be circles and actually I might venture out of that but at the moment I'm making circles but the point is this is my color testing book this is my experiment book so I'm trying different lightnesses of turquoise by adding lots of white and then I'll start playing around with color like what if I added more yellow what if I added less yellow what if I added more blue what does it become what if I add a tinge of black you can see there that that circle went more to green. So it's veering more towards green. Now I've started to make a teal by adding a tiny bit of black in to desaturate it. Would have been interesting also to put the complement of blue in and see what that would have done. But on this, I didn't have any squeezed out on here. So I'm just going with black, white, blue, yellow, and just varying degrees it's starting to turn it towards a gray and then back towards more blue just to see what's possible with those colors because i discovered that and this is what i'd love you to get out of this is you get surprises when you color mix and then you can explore those surprises and it doesn't matter whether you do them in a book or on pieces of card or where you do them sorry about my head being in the way all that matters is that you experiment and the reason my head gets in the way is I start getting excited when I'm discovering new colours. And so, yeah, I'm starting to put my head in the way. But there we go. So whatever way you choose to explore these things, do remember to make notes about what you used. You don't need the proportions because you can always get back to where you were within that limited palette. But just make notes. So if you want that colour again, you can do it. Colour mixing is vital as part of finding your own unique way of making art. If you are struggling with that in any way, there is a free download you can grab in the description underneath this video or with the post if you're watching it on Facebook or if you're on Instagram, it's the link in my bio. But you can grab your own copy of this free Find Your Style guide that will lead you in the direction. But I tell you, one of the key things is mixing your own colours. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.